Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I'm going to be doing an in-depth tutorial of my windowed loft bed. So it's quite simple to do and I will show you how you can do the base game version also and also how to use a different shelf if you don't have high school years. The first thing we're going to go ahead and do is use a platform tool. Obviously I've already got a room placed here and I'm just going to do a 1x3 and this is going to delete your walls. This happens all the time. Um, with placing platforms if you're placing them near a wall it's a nightmare so then I'm going to raise this platform up so just click on the platform and I'm raising it up one two three four five six seven times so to match that shadow that you saw you color your platform because you can color platforms without putting a half wall around it because you can't put a half wall around this because it will get in the way of your sims being able to access the bed so if you just go to like the walls section again and the bottom option is platform trims and you've got quite a few options here. The one I really like to use is painted perfection and it is base game and it's because it comes in so many colors and you can get colors like this which match the basic wall paint. What's this part, wall paint called? Basic pastels. As you can see I, this top wall is very very tall. I'm using the tallest wall height. I have tested this medium wall height does not work with this height of platform with your sims being able to get up here so you do need it at the tallest wall height if you go into the stairs section that's where you will find the ladders i know i had somebody asking me and they were didn't know where their ladders were or they didn't know that base game had ladders so another quick tip is if your ladders are facing the wrong way like this you'll see it won't snap to where you want it so just rotate it and i use the greater than and less than signs to rotate and I'm just gonna place that in there. Because of the platform, you sometimes get some weird shadowing. So sometimes you have to place a light on the platform. For some reason today, it's not playing ball. So the next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is grab a bed. Any bed you want will work. A double bed, preferably, because it's sort of what fits perfectly with this. And we're gonna just place it there. It, like you said, if you place it here, your sim won't be able to get the bed. But if you just do half a tile to the side, your sim can still get in and I will just show you that this is usable that sims can get down half a tile so just speed her up and she can get in the bed just fine and you can get your sim to sleep on the other side if I just get her to relax here and she will just scoot across next thing we're gonna do is use the basement tool so this is in the wall section and it is like five across it's just it's just called the basement tool so I'm gonna go ahead and click that and then I'm just gonna create a basement under this you won't be able to do it under the platform section like this it sort of glitches so if you start on one of the other corners make sure the platform section has basement under it as well you just can't do it from the platform section I don't know why because you can still place a platform there and here's where your options come in for shelves so if you just type a shelf into the search bar there's a couple of options so the one option I'm going to use is this one from high school years but you can also use this one from Dream Home Decorator and you size them up five times and you can see it is the same width as the platform. Um, the thing with this is you can see how far it's sticking out past the bed whereas if you use the high school years one it only just sticks out from under the bed. Base game only is, I can't remember what it's called, it's called a rack. So yeah, it's the towel storage rack, the empty version, and you would just use this. So you'd size it up till it is the correct width. You do need this one shot or your, like, your platform will need to be one down. So I'll just briefly show you. So now you've gone one shot, um, I'm gonna page down, and then I'm raising up till it's flush. And if you want to block this wall in, you could use a half wall, but I didn't want to do this because I will just quickly briefly show you. If you use a half wall, you can see how far it sticks out. It sticks out this far, um, which is annoying because that's not where the shelf comes to. So I use a base game mirror to create a wall. Grab the sincerity and it comes in different colors and it's the correct height. And you would just line these up like so to create a wall uh, obviously you can 
select different colors. So now I'm going to show you the version I prefer doing. So I'm just going to raise this platform up again. So if we go ahead and grab the high school years shelf, go down and place this in the basement. And you can see I can drag it at different heights. I'm just going to drag it to the top of the room as far as I can get it just to test it out. And you can see it's way too tall on there. So we're going to go ahead and drag it down one. And you can see that is now the correct height, but a bit of platform is sticking through here as well. You can see some slight glitching. So what we're going to do is all place this. Go down. It is a little bit finicky, but it's worth it in the end because it looks pretty cute. And you might be able to tell here, this is really dull, but it shouldn't be because if you place it here, you can see it's a nice bright pink color. So there's a couple of ways you can combat this. The first way is to get rid of the basement by dragging it away. And look, you can see it is light. Problem is with this, if you change the time of day, you can see the colour of the shelf is changing. That is because it is matching what it is outside because it thinks it's outside. To combat this is to keep your basement and say you have a light right here. Grab the exact same light. Try, you've got to try and like think of where that would be upstairs and then raise this up and you just have to match where it is upstairs it's a little bit difficult because I you can't see the other lights so you have to like up and down a lot like you can see I have not placed it high enough up so I'm gonna leave that one there because I'm using that as a guide knowing I need it to be higher than this one so this is the most finicky bit I find there and then I can delete the top light and the bottom light, uh, this light, and now the lighting should be so much better because it is matching. Like, both the lights are both here, they're overlapping each other, so you can't see the light that's downstairs. Another way to sort of combat the weird lighting would just be using a floor lamp and just raise it up. And for this one, it's a little bit easier because you can just put it on there this might stick through the roof no it doesn't we're good and that means you don't need this source of light I'll delete this to show you um, obviously this light isn't as bright again there's ways you can sort of trick that use that same ceiling light and because you can raise it up you could raise it up and hide it in this light and make it a bit brighter like so so we've got a bit darkness down the side um you can brighten that up by just like placing lights inside of here like you don't have to raise them up or anything so when you go up it's very very bright because i've got a lot of lights in here you'd have to match the rest of the room by putting more lights up here if you're doing base game um you'd have to use this debug vent thingy there is videos on how to get debug uh, so just look up how to get debug in sims and you can't search for debug items because they're all just called debug and you would just create a, a wall using these so this is a bit finicky and a little bit annoying but it's to create a wall you just have to line them up correctly so i'm just trying to fix my light issue um you can see my lighting totally changed i don't know why i've been having lighting issues but i have but if you just grab this base game window and size it down, you can just pop it on here. And when you're doing the side ones, so the windows that I'm on are the side, you can see it'll want to snap. So you might have to delete some walls, place it in, and then put your walls back in. And in Dine Out, there is this slap wall room divider. You can just put in a divider and it'll pop up. And there's this one, and there is this one. And what I went ahead and did is use the open one to create a window and just raise that up and your sim can still walk under this just fine and i'm just alt placing it there and doing the sim there beautiful and i want her to move to this side so if we just get her to scoot across you can see they can sleep on both sides and you can just go ahead and decorate it however you like i've gone ahead and put a pc down here for your sim to play on and a bookshelf and your sim can be up on the top loft bed while your other sim is playing on the computer down below 
If you enjoyed this build, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.